Hi everyone. Did you know that God loves us so much because He gave us nature to enjoy? Nature is God's gift to us. We can be friend to nature through these simple things. Number one. When we go to nature like parks or gardens, we must keep all our belongings with us. We must leave nothing behind. Number two, we should avoid picking flowers when it's not allowed. Number three, we should bring a trash bag in case we spot litter. Number four, we should not throw garbage on rivers. Number five, we should plant more trees so the birds can have a safe place to stay. And now, I will tell you how to pick a flower and when it's allowed. First, choose the best time to pick flowers. When picking flowers, use a sharp pair of scissors. Cut, cut flower stems at an angle. The reason for this is that you can create more surface area for the flower to drink up water. If cutting a lot of flowers, carry a small pail or bucket of water with you to place the flower straight into it. Cut flowers early in the morning. This is the best time of day because the flowers are fresh from the night. Rest and heaven been exposed to a day of warmth. Cut in the evening. If you're not able to cut flowers in the morning, the evening is the next best choice. As the flowers won't be wilting under the heat of the sun. Avoid cutting flowers when it's the middle of the day. At this time of the day, the flowers will have very little moisture and will not last long when placed in a vase. Choose flowers that are just coming into full bloom for picking. When we look at nature, we see trees. Trees bring so much blessing to us. Let us learn how we can take care of the trees. First, we should know their needs. Before you can properly care for them, you must know what type of trees are growing on your property. Second, prune them properly. Pruning your trees is vital to keeping them healthy and strong. Improper pruning, however, can actually damage your greenery leading to destabilization and spread of disease. Third, protect the roots. Healthy trees need healthy roots and healthy roots need healthy soil in odd order to make sure the soil around your tree is healthy enough to sustain its greenery you want to be sure that the soil is not compact be sure to protect the roots fourth water effectively water is food for your trees and plants that's why effective watering is one of the most important ways to care and maintain for the greenery on your yard and lawn. Lastly, use mulch. Mulch is a great way to protect your trees from stress. After we learned how to take care of the trees, this time, we will know how to take care of the nest. Provide water for bathing and drinking on hot days. Actually, 
provide water all year long if you can but make sure to keep it clean if you find a nest stay away if you happen upon a bird's nest don't near and don't make a return visit continue to feed high protein foods such as meal worms peanuts and other food for birds put out eggshells for birds offer short pieces of pet or human hair in onion bags or put it in obvious places put out short pieces of natural fiber string and yarn for birds that build woven nests orioles some sparrows robins and others a few short pieces of yarn can come in mighty handy during building time hold of streaming hedges and shrubs lot of species use small hedges and shrubs for nesting Pro provide nest boxes keep your cat inside and ask your neighbors to do the same This is a blue turnip plant. You can make it as a tea and eat healthy. This is my cottage little garden. These cute tomatoes were planted by my Lola. These plants are corn. I remember that. I also planted corn and we ate them. Gather different kinds of flowers. God created colorful flowers for us to see. It's amazing that God created many kinds of leaves and shapes and colors too. Wait for me. Wait for me. <laughs> 